We're gonna we're bringing you a quick video today. Um, anybody out there who, um, you know, is looking for a privacy hedge um, in uh, you know Central or South Florida, and you've looked at your options, I'm not talking about fencing. I'm talking about if you actually want a hedge. Um, surely you've come across areca palms as one of your options um and it's a great option we love it we've done it in several properties and so i'm gonna we're gonna show you real quick here what a one month old areca hedge looks like versus a 15 to 20 year old areca hedge so you can, can see what what you can expect down the road so this right here we actually had a, a thick dense forest here about a month or two ago but this lot sold and they they're getting ready to build their home over here they cleared the lot and so we wanted to put in a hedge we actually i, I priced this out was, this was totally yeah we had a jungle too but i priced i priced out fencing too but the fencing was more expensive than my hedge and um the fencing would have given us more immediate privacy but then you have to worry about it getting blown over in a storm or you know whatever repairs or you know so we decided to go with just the hedge so these are i believe we got 25 gallon um arecas um and, and you planted them about four feet uh, four on to, center? Four to six feet on center. Um, you know, there's, you guys can decide how close you want to plant them. Um, they, it, we'll show you in a minute how big they get, how big around they get um, when they're fully mature. But you can plant them pretty close to each other too. Uh -huh. And so I planted them pretty close because I wanted privacy quickly. But so you can see these are 25 gallon arecas. Um, they're six, anywhere from six to eight feet, six to seven and a half feet, eight feet tall, some of them. Um, yeah, yeah, and you can um, um, at least now um, in I'm five feet tall. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, yeah. So, um, and you can see the pots over there. I buried them myself. So, um, you know, you can expect to pay twice as much, probably, or more. If you, you have to have them delivered and installed. But so this is basically what you get. Um, you know, this is these are probably the biggest ones. I'll show you the pots. These are the biggest ones you're going to be able to uh, install yourself with regular hand tools and no uh, equipment, uh, heavy equipment. I just use shovels and actually had to use my chainsaw to get some roots out of the way. But um, these are some big, big, huge pots here. And you here. used your, um, your pull-behind trailer for moving them I did. on the, on the yeah. um, lawnmower. But anyways, there, we put them in and instantly we had a nice green, lush, um, flowing uh, privacy hedge. And now we'll show you what it looks like, what it's gonna look like um, down the road. Uh, our, our neighbors on the other side of us actually did this when they bought their property, God, what, 15 or 20 years ago, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, and so you can see, he spaced them pretty far apart, but he told me he got some real big ones delivered and he used his machine to install them when he did um, at the time. But um, these are probably he had, these were big ones, but they actually had some other ones, I'll show you down here, that were just, he said in like three gallon pots and they're already as, as big as this. Let's, we'll walk down the line here and just, you can see he, some of these are 25 feet tall, maybe even, maybe even 30 feet, some of them. I would say they're 30. Um, and you can see just all the way down the line here, this nice tropical uh, vibe it gives the whole, uh, this whole edge of the property. You know, I know some of you out there are gonna be saying these aren't native. And they're not native. I'm not going to argue with you, but the birds like it's, them. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not, we're not we're not going to open that can of worms. So this is <laughs> I'm just showing you what this hedge looks like, uh, both when you when you first plant it and when it's fully mature. Because these are fully mature uh, guys. They're not going to get any taller than this. Um, that's about as tall as they're going to get. And you can see it's as tall as that telephone pole there, and it makes quite a privacy hedge. Um, Obviously, you can't even see into their property. You can barely even see part of their roof right there. Um, and we just love them. They make a great, uh, not only privacy hedge, it's, you know, when the wind's blowing, the, the fronds kind of rustle together, so it gives you some noise privacy, too. Um, and if any of these, these um, the trees aren't, aren't so heavy, I think if they yeah. land on a structure, yeah, they're not right. Really if if this, it. they're not gonna. But if one of these, you know, whacked our house over here, it's not like a cabbage palm falling on our house. Um, they're also self-cleaning palms, quote unquote. Um, these cabbage palms, I, I don't think, are considered self-cleaning. Um, some people like to get up in here and prune out all the dead stuff because uh, these these palms will hold on to their dead fronds for quite some time. Um, we just leave them like that, but a lot of people like to clean them up. Um, mm -hmm. These are self-cleaning, so when one of these 
one of their little fronds dies, it just drops it. Um, so they do, there are, there is some cleanup involved, um, but same with any plants, any palm trees, uh, these, you know, here's a, I mean, look at this, look at this coconut palm, it drops this and, uh, <laughs> and that's, like, that's a whole job in and of it's itself. Like 16 yeah. feet long. You know? All right. Well, hey, we've uh, we've gone on and on here. This yeah. is supposed to be a quick video. So, yeah. anyways, guys, the, the, that's uh, what you can expect um, from Arica palms. Um, 25 gallon Arica palms will get you a six foot privacy hedge right away. And 10, 20 years down the road, you'll have a 30 foot privacy hedge. So, uh, and it protects that, you from hurricanes. It does. It's not going to fall over in a hurricane like a like a fence will. So. All right, guys, if you have any questions, uh, you know, uh, post in the comment section down below. Uh, we hope this video was uh, helpful to, to you. So, uh, anyways, until next time, everybody out there, take care. Bye.